I'm Daily Fix and welcome to the next part of our X4 Foundations series as the unworthy entrepreneur. So we're still in boring territory and we'll be well definitely making sure we'll continue with the missions that they will provide us up to a certain point. Uh, we'll see. There's another thing that we need to uh, check. And that is the status of the factory over here. Oh, well, that's convenient. Hull parts just got in. Claytronics got in a few energy cells. Uh, they still show a few, though. But, you know, that will, that will go when it happens. There's a few trade things that we need to set up. We'll start with that. We need to add the sunrise flowers and medical supplies in here. Let's quickly do that. So this is the sunrise flowers. This three. Distribution. Yeah, there we go. And the other one is going to be medical supplies. Supplies? Question marks? God, I don't know. Supplies. It's probably something like this. Uh, distribution. Uh, restrict all factions. So, doubting about it, but it's fine. Okay, save that. Let's go into map. Take a look at the factories. So, did we, did we assign... An, no, we did not assign a manager. Uh, which is fine. We'll start over with the Sunrise Flowers, because right now it is still basically selling to everyone. Let's quickly change that. To sunrise distribution and then will the other one will go in here well we also need to add did I set up the spice no spice okay spice distribution all the way over that next step would be distribution hop overview at Spices and the sunrise flowers and medical components. Might as well just do all of that uh, right away. Medical supply. Supply. See, double P. Damn it. I have to go back and change that again. It's so annoying. Anyways. Uh, buy offer, of course, is going to be set to the spice. And the other one is going to be... That's great, I'll pause the game. If someone asks you to drop your cargo, I kind of do want to see what is up with that. Uh, the cell orders also create those. I think all of them are set up correctly, with the exception of the medical supplies. Let's also do that, medical supplies. We'll change the name, that's fine. We don't need to do anything else. Uh, the buy order, sell order, that is all good. Water is good. Yeah, okay, so that's all done. Let's quickly hop back into that trade rule. That is not a trade rule. Let's go over here. Medical supplies. Double P. Uh, add that over there. Distribution. Yeah, that's fine. Confirm changes. Good. All right. Who is asked? Uh, it's the point for Talati. Let's go quickly check that out. Buccaneer Recon Fire Discovery. That's going to be the one. Or the Pegasus, uh, Pegasus fighter. Ah, man, these Buccaneers are absolutely annoying. Really, really annoying. I think that if we manage to save up some money, we're going to be adding some fighters to these guys. I don't want to keep losing uh, the medium ships. As you can see over here, the Argon uh, Federation uh, supply shortage stuff. Already is missing one of the ships, which is just annoying. But, but what can you do? What can you do? Well, first of all, let's quickly get ourselves a manager. Doesn't have to be top of the line because, well, quite frankly, yeah, he just needs to go to the distribution up and back. That that's it. So you're going to be working over here as a manager. They were sure as I love that. And this guy is fleeing from. Okay, which one is the problem? It's these guys. 
No way, damn, that's two of them. Oh, he's going to die. Uh, let's quickly check out the station, actually. Can we see, like, any... If they have defenses? There are a few defensive modules. They're right over there. And there's a bridge over here. He's going to get his ass kicked, is he? Um, I want you to dock up. Uh, override the fleeing order. Let's really babysit this one. And hopefully the station will be able to like, deal with that. Yeah, okay, see, docking is over there. Bridge is over there. So I'm, I'm thinking about adding maybe one fighter or maybe two fighters to each of these. So we won't lose them. And we'll also be the start of our very, very first fleet. How expensive... Would that joke actually be? Let's let's quickly check that out. So we already know that these medium, actually small ships. I think it is the il no, not the elite vanguard. Um, it is the I think the sentinel. We had that defender thing set up over there. Let's remove that. This would be good. What do we want to have on this? Uh, let's go with a low preset. Uh, it seems that would take Parsec Engines. Yeah, I think that is fine. Combat. Taladi Shields. Yeah, don't say no to that. As for the weapons, unfortunately we don't have a better understanding with the Alliance of the Word. So that's really not helpful. However... It might be a bit more expensive, uh, but the burst weapon output currently is uh, 163 and 150. This is, yeah, twice the amount. The weapons are a lot more expensive. However, I think it's still worth it to do that. Target computer is definitely necessary. We... Could actually have these as a police license in the future when we have our own system. Police scanner is actually quite important if we decide to have illegal goods. If not, then, you know, this doesn't really matter. So might as well just go with basic. I don't think we'll ever... Does anyone that's watching these videos... Have you ever set up illegal wares in your own systems and why? I'm really interested in knowing that. As for these, let's go with flares. We could actually give them some laser towers. That increases the survivability, but usually we just drop them when we're fleeing. And I'm kind of don't... Uh, I don't bet on fleeing. I don't want to get two service crew member. I think this would be good enough... Yeah, and they're just going to be, like, defending, defending Commander. So, 351 for this Sentinel. Let's just save this as a um, Defender uh, Mark 1. If you have suggestions about how to set up the Defender, like, it's, it's, it would be better if you do it this way, by all means, let me know. We can build a whopping three. Uh, do I want to do that? I, you know, I kind of don't because of my other traders. So let's start with two. Let's confirm that order. The money is gone. If I did all of them, then the fill shortage fleets would absolutely have a bit of a problem. Let's quickly take a look. Let's on pause. Uh, they're coming in. See, they're, they're moving up. Come on. Now, once they hit the base... Yeah, see that? He's actually getting damaged. 99%. What will you do? They're not being targeted. Okay, so... Ah, oh, yeah. Marauders, huh? That's nice. 
Just wait until they're gone. There's a lot of them. Yeah, we do absolutely need to start adding a few. It's a lot of money, guys. Um, definitely. Because we need like uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Uh, that's nine, eighteen of them. We just bought two. Oh well, you know, it is what it is. It's it's fine. Let us remove that order. So he can actually be gone on its way. Let us go hot one. So we need to negotiate the deal between these guys. Uh, let's quickly talk to the other guy. See what. Hello there. Yeah, hello. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, crew quarters. Let's go talk and see what she wants or what it wants. I don't know. This species has a male or female hello again, thing. Explorer. Okay, um, your quest for home was an obsession, dangerous situation, yes, let's go with that. with danger. The provinces lie uncomfortably close to Kark territory. When Sanctuary of Darkness first connected to the provinces, it triggered regular attacks. Okay. We barely managed to protect ourselves with the meager military that we could cobble together. Thankfully, the waves have calmed for now. The Kark incursions eventually ceased. All attempts to communicate with these enigmatic creatures have failed. So I would hesitate to call it a ceasefire. It is more of a lull in hostilities. As you can imagine, the situation remains rather fragile. Yeah, okay, but you're letting them... Like, build up right now. There's not much I can do. Your quest of home was an obsession. I think we've already established... Oh. You took no no, I don't need to. Oh, I can't get out of that. That's that's lovely. Alright, we'll just listen to it then. But he has Quickly. Come to the conclusion that effort spent on this endeavor come at an immediate cost to our people. I would hate for you to get the impression that I do not care for my fellow Boron here. Out on the fringes, I am truly seeking to make a difference for the people. Serving the Queen's subjects is a duty for me. You see, I do not like to draw too much attention to it. But I myself am the progeny of Strand. Five my years royal. later. Before you bow or anything like that, I am not part of the direct line of succession. And that is not how our monarchy works in any case. Yet, it drives me to find a path back home for the people to once again delight in a reunited, merry realm. Yeah, goodbye. Pleasant travels. Okay, why did I. What, what mediation is there? Like last time, I think I ended by saying, like, we need to, like, decide on, on what to do. I don't think there is actually a decision. The double door is really awkward, actually. Oh, I hope they will remove that. Ah, the silent one from our disappointing introduction. Uh huh, that's me. Uh, perhaps that is a solution. Um, maybe we could help use those styles? I'm fully aware of Mila T's royal connections. Is it your opinion of me that I am some petty functionary who can be bought and sold? Kind of. By the highest bidder? Maybe. Please judge me. I'm at the lobby. Everyone is bought. For all our disagreements. Everyone has a price. I see that she would be party to such a grubby approach. Of course I desire the return of the provinces adrift to the warm embrace of the home world. But what kind of servant would I be if I did so at the expense of the welfare of those under my charge? Perhaps there's a positive solution? A bounty threat? Like extermination? Uh, wiping them out as your <laughs> sure. To simply exterminate a species? Let's go for it, man. I hate those guys. They entered our provinces in pursuit of scientific enlightenment, not bloodshed. Do these fins look like Terran appendages to yeah, you? We have not met the Terrans not yet, so all the yeah. inhabitants of this galaxy are driven by unmoderated barbarity. No, thank you. If we can maintain peace, we shall do so. Seems like my freighters are really no busy. reassurance in your words, only distaste. My principal concern is the welfare of the Boron of the provinces. Your expedition will expose them to needless jeopardy. Uh huh. Really, this is Numankaret. You have underestimated both the influence of the Alliance of the Word and the importance to the network of reconnecting with Kingdom End. As we speak, our representatives are in conference with our allies. The agenda is how, and indeed whether, there should be trade with the provinces adrift. Your ludicrous obstruction leaves me no choice but to twist your arms. The... Uh, fins. If your economy 
is your priority, then I hold the keys to unlock it. Blackmail? You, Numancaret, are no scientist. You are a brigand and a charlatan. And yet, you leave me no choice but to accede to your dangerous demands. But mark my words, you have made no friends here in the provinces of Drift. Someday, you may regret that. Are you threatening us with war? <laughs> okay. With the gate and watchful gaze reactivated, to our knowledge, only three more dormant gates remain in province space. One is located in Ocean of Fantasy, another in Barren Shores. The final one was discovered by scouts in Sanctuary of Darkness. If Sanctuary of Darkness sounds foreboding, you may find that the name is fitting. It is host to a significant Ka'ak infestation. Ugh. Even uttering the name makes my fins tingle. Yet I must remain firm on the matter. Do not, under any circumstances, engage with the Ka'ak. Every interaction with them results in horrific conflict. You have our word, Leader Wee. We shall do everything in our power to avoid undue provocation. Thank you. And may I bestow upon you a gift? You can always give me sign gifts. As a of goodwill to move past our altercation, All right. we have prepared for you a fighter ship. A humble gift, but hopefully it will be of use to you in the times ahead. Explorer, you have done well to secure access for us to continue our mission. Please, claim the scout ship as your own. Okay, uh, we definitely do that. Let's see. These fighters are now ready. We got those two defenders. Uh, where do we want to start? Like, this guy is in bright promise. We could actually also set them up to be in, in just a few, like, locations. Where we have been, like, asked to drop our cargo and stuff like that. Uh, maybe. This 401, there's almost a million coming in due to trade, so I'm not too worried about that. How, what about the following? Let's just start giving all of them Defend, Commander, Alpha, and then this Under Defender, you will go here to Defend, Commander, Wait, what? Hey, hey, hey. Come here, dumbass. Yeah, that's that's right. That was awkward. There you go. So these two ships now have one defender. How about this? Every time what we hit like a million, we'll buy two, and then hopefully by the end of all of this, everything is set up in a way that. These ships can defend themselves and, you know, don't have to be running away. These two ships should be able to deal at least some damage. We can eventually just, you know, build them up. Or at some point we might even upgrade the mediums to large ships. But that is a few episodes away because I would have to upgrade all of the station. And that is one thing that we will definitely do. But not right now. Let us continue with this mission. Do I want this guy to follow? Let us tell you to remove all orders. And dock up over there. All right, let's go check out the ship that we got. Alright, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I love this uh, particular ship. Because of the hatch thing they do. It's so cool. So cool. Yeah, I really like that. Quite a bit. Okay, let's undock. We need to investigate the dormant gates to formulate the next step of our expedition. I am already familiar with the gate in Ocean of Fantasy. If you supply me with the necessary equipment, and provide me with a few pointers as to what exactly I am to do. It what the hell's going on over here? Pirate harassment. Wait, 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 I need to check that log. Why didn't I not get... Ship wreckage, okay. Um... 
Yeah, that's 25 million hours. That's so annoying. There was a, a pirate harassment thing going on, right? Like, I'm, I'm not... Saw that. It's possible that it was that Stelotti ship. I, by the looks of it, that is... Not really a ship here. They're having issues. Okay, that's fine. Okay, auto safe. Love auto safe. I have a love hate relationship. I hate it every time it happens, and I love it every time I need it. Okay, we will. Let's uh, let's go oh, check no. out. Ready to trade. Ready to trade. Uh, skip this trade. I uh, did. I tell it to trade. Dog can wait. Oh, dog to trade. Okay. Well, fine. Uh, now what I was looking for though. Let us take a look. Even this guy is looking for a gate, the Goppy. Thanks to the newly opened trade routes, we have commenced rebuilding our shipyard. You are, of course, most welcome to aid us in our undertaking. Okay, what is my current relation? Your will, of course, be lucratively compensated. Zero. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's a bit annoying. There is an object over there, so let's set that as our uh, destination. Uh, which they, of course, are not giving us. That's fine, we'll just autopilot that way. That's fine. Whoa, that's really making me a bit nauzy. How fast is this ship going? Uh, we have two different weapons. You take a look at that. God damn it. The scale plate is... After that one shipper. That is just amazing. I think he will be able to get out. There's also an Argon fighter coming in. Hopefully he will start firing at that damn ship. Oh, it's fine. Let's not worry about it right now. The speed is not bad at all. Are the boring engines better than the split engines? Now that would be very, very interesting actually. I do need to check out that shipyard of theirs. Uh, and take a look at, at how good these uh, components are. I know their weapons have some um, interesting... Uh, how do you call them? Like special things going on with the weapons? Entering system. Oh, yeah, that's Sanctuary just, that's of just, darkness. Yeah. Sanctuary of darkness. According to our archives, there was once a Xenon presence hereabouts in the network. I wonder what befell them. Oh, is that so? Then okay. we were quite lucky that our systems were not connected directly to a Xenon stronghold. There is no way we would have survived, given the state of our military. Now, see if you can locate the inactive gate in the system. Be careful. Take great care when navigating. We must honor our word and avoid the cuts. You will also need to be cautious of the region's other hazards. I recommend that you stick close to the asteroids. They seem to be an exceptional indicator of where your ship will not be harmed. Okay. I'd love that they already know that. I'm babysitting this uh, particular ship because, like I said, I kind of don't want to, like, lose it again. Uh, well, I'd say again, I don't want to lose another ship, uh, is basically uh, what I was trying to say. So, I've done this recording again. Uh, I just, I've done it. And I... I've never found myself to be so annoyed. So, they do actually provide you with a very... Useful tip. Stay in the mineral regions marked in red on your map to avoid 
damage. You do want to do that. Oh boy, this system is extremely unforgiving. They really don't care about who you are. So, um, there's two paths in the start of this. One will go ahead into a cargo base and the other is to the right. We're going to be... Yeah, that's, that's awesome. We're going to the right. Let's see how we are. So I will be definitely be taking a look at the map. Uh, let's close. I think you're safe from now. Yeah, okay, let's close this up. Okay. We'll keep going. Now, then we arrive at another fork. One goes up, the other one goes to the left. The one on the left is not going to work out. It will lead to nothing. The right will lead to... Uh, Cargo bases go straight ahead. Stay in the asteroid field though. So let's drop out. Let's go back into that a bit. Because the damage in this is extremely unforgiving. So this is the one to the left, and then what we go is to the left, like right over this way. There you can see the gate. This is our destination. A bit more to the right. I also feel like these asteroids give a bit of an indication. A bit more to the right. Stay in the red. Also, sometimes your ship might get hit by, like, lightning, which is extremely annoying. Yeah, no, no need to for that, my man. I've already found it. Approaching the jump gate, Nacelle. Try to get a reading. Alright, let's go. Uh, can we go straight ahead? I think it should be safe to do so. Now, the, the most annoying part of this mission is going to be the second bit. Uh, I actually had to look that up on Reddit. So, <laughs> if you're posting the solution over there, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Please keep that up. Um, but this is definitely obnoxious. So we're going to be scanning this nacelle. You are in range. Activate your ship scan mode now. Each jump gate has two pairs of nacelles. They act as caches for storing operational data, among many other things. We are still not very familiar with this technology, or who created it. But, thanks to recent scientific advancements, we are able to make sense of some of the information that we are retrieving. It seems apparent that some of the data likely represents the coordinates of other jump gates. Whether this means that these gates were connected in the distant past is mere conjecture. Perhaps the builders had reasons unknown to us for certain gates to hold a uh, special compatibility. The vast majority of the data in these caches remains a vexing mystery to us all. Uh huh. So it's basically waiting and then going to the other nacelle. Yeah, everything we can access from this nacelle. Move on to the one on the opposite side. Look at the machine. Our science team as we speak. Yeah, this danger again. Seriously, 
partial failure. Yeah, my shields. Oh my! I am picking up a worrisome fluctuation in energy signatures. Okay. Forager. All right. Uh, let's wait until they get a bit closer. Uh, we we'll just hide over here for now. Bit of hiding. Because we still have to deal with the interference. There we go. Danger. Forager. Container One. forager. Forager. I don't know why he's taking forever, forager. but it's fine. Uh, there you go. Come on, just just go boom. You'll do fine. Forager. Where are you? There you go. If I get hit now, we'll suffer hull damage. Definitely not what I'm looking for. Come on, give me my shields back. Alright, that's it. Uh, where's the damn gate? There it is. Let's go back. Uh, we'll track to everything in. Yes, your display of skill was altogether impressive. I just hope this commotion does not result in a more severe and unwelcome reaction. I don't think anything is coming towards us. While we have not yet completed our examination of the Sanctuary of Darkness Cache, it is quite obviously the most promising of the gates. Despite the additional challenges the Kaaba will represent. More dangerous, perhaps. But I am afraid that things are not going well in Ocean of Fantasy either. The system's planet is devastated and completely uninhabitable. Perhaps, once the provinces have re-established their economy, they can attempt some terraforming. For now, this expedition needs you to map out safe passage for a larger fleet to navigate through Sanctuary of Darkness. You can use nav beacons to determine an appropriate route. Yeah. Just stay clear of the cog installations. And other hazardous regions. Yeah. For oh, now, nice. Of the task in hand. So, yeah, this mission uh, just drove me insane during my last recording. It wasn't clear to me what they wanted me to do. Uh, and I've looked it up. There's no shame in that. You know, we, we all use Google. <laughs> Even I do it. Um, so, what we need to do is in this circle we can drop an nav beacon so we'll just go to the big to the gate over here or so and we'll drop down the first nav beacon we have 10 on the ship yeah, thank you thank you so Nav beacon. And then he says, hey, well, you need to drop. And I was keep, I dropped like three of them. What we need to do is drop one somewhere in this region next to it. And then it should hop to the next one. And so on, so on. So hurrah, we are going to make our way back to our system extremely carefully because this ship will not survive for long outside of this particular pathway now if i want to do it correctly then i would probably have to drop one over here see what happens i should have enough it maybe it triggers this one now it does now we go over here By their joint efforts. Then the community of planets are Recent idiots. On solitary miners, and now this proved this notion was overly optimistic. 
Okay, so around about here, we'll just drop it down. And then it will, it just, it hops over. I know some of you are like, why are you struggling with this mission? It's not that difficult. I know, I know. You guys are amazing. Oh, unfortunately, I derp a lot. Uh, you can ask on Discord uh, about my time, the first time with the Terrans. Yes, the Terrans. And then the, uh, you have this mission to unlock Terrat forming. And you need to solve this puzzle. And I was doing it at night. And I think after like uh, an hour or so, I gave up. I was done. I was devastated. I was tired. And I was extremely, extremely anxious. And people could really trigger the crap out of me that day. There we go. Up next, uh, we'll just go over there. But yeah, that's how dense I can absolutely be. Let's go to the right. Somewhere around this, I think. A bit more back. In between of those. Alright, let's drop out of this. It needs to be in there. Okay, I think we can go like over here and then downwards, probably like over here, and then it's just a straight line. But just did this, this didn't make sense to me like at all, as a simpleton. Okay. Also, if you made it this far, <laughs> congratulations! Don't forget to uh, give the qu uh, video a quick rating if you're enjoying yourself. Leave me names for ships if you like to do those things. And if you don't like to do those things, just just leave that. I don't care. Just just uh, I like interaction a lot. So yeah, why not, right? Why not? So with the asteroid danger. around here, yeah, yeah, danger. But th that's really freaking me out sometimes. Now we go over there. And I think we should now be able just to go down. Let's take a look. We are pointing in the, well, somewhat right danger. direction. Don't you danger me constantly, game. That is where we need to go. Yeah, we should be able to make it. A bit more to the right. Okay, let's drop out. And let's go again. Yeah, we're almost there. We're almost there. Just keep going. So right here, we'll drop down. And then we need to drop down uh, one over there. And that should be enough. Okay. Are we still traveling? Oh, it does actually... Oh, okay, great. It, it counts. I thought I pressed the all stop button, but, you know, it's fine. Uh, we just go a bit more to the right. Like so. Drop down over there. And I think we need to drop down one over there, but we'll see. Uh, then... Look at this. 40 seconds, guys. The initial goal of this series. We managed to get to uh, medical supplies. So, yeah, I'm extremely excited about that. And that is where we can actually lift this up, like, completely. There we go. This is it. Yes. Everyone, move in. The expedition shall now establish a scientific outpost. This may be the beginning of a most fruitful phase in our journey together. Okay, so we now have a plus two with the lines of the word. That means that if we get one more, 
and potentially we can get the military license uh, with them, which is uh, interesting, definitely. I like that. Uh, while this is setting up, uh, let me just quickly get out of this system. And we'll set up the medical supplies. Now, it's going to take some time for that to really make us a good amount of money, right? Which is no problem. Oh, wait, we could possibly dock up with the ships they're flying or just say follow it. Entering system. Great reef. Yeah, we'll just wait over here. That's fine. Um, don't see any fleet moving in right now. No, not really. Alright, let's set up the medical supplies. Energy cells. Energy distribution. Also, pause the game for a second. We need to set this up. I don't need like 10,000 energy cells over here. We need like 1,200. The lower this is... The more we can have in here. So right now it's 19,697. Which is absolutely terrifying amount. 1,200. Done. Uh, it also doesn't put too much stress on your empire. So spice is 480. Uh, and we'll go with the spice distribution. Sunrise is 144. And you could set that up, the automatic pricing, to be the absolute highest that you would need. Uh, but eventually, that also works more, more like a double-edged sword. Because if all of your stations have the automatic pricing off to be the maximum, then eventually nothing changes, right? You don't want to do yeah, things like that. So water is 720. Cancel that. 720 and we'll go with water distribution i don't want it any higher than it that, that one ship was bringing in more than like 900 and now the amount is 4000 of, of, of 46,160. we're going to be setting this up as a medical supply distribution as well so we can actually run this station with potentially one ship and we can use the distribution hub where it's selling the stuff to really quickly level up managers. Now, first time you'll start shuffling through them because you don't want a level one guy to be the commander of this station. Uh, but eventually it doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, I need to check out the hub. Did I set up the medical supplies? Yes, I did. Awesome. So that is done. Uh, what we now will do is we need cash. Now there's two options that we have. And I'll leave it up to you. We either start moving more into the food business. And I think we actually got the no strop oil uh, blueprint. And quickly add that. Which is only used by the Taladi. And of course the Ministry of Finance. And we could potentially set up this fleet to distribute that as well. And it would most likely just buy it with our uh, station. Or we will move into the very lowest tier, like the intermediate products. So the silicon wafers, uh, the um, refined metal, stuff like that. And those generate usually generate a lot of money. So hopefully some of you actually do let me know in the comment section uh, what it is that you want. Otherwise, I will just make a decision. That's fine. Uh, you are looking for a station manager. Yeah, I'm not too interested in that right now. We have uh, 500,000. What I actually need is a ship over here as well. Sunrise Flowers is coming in. 
the energies will come in, spices of water and all of that, but we do need some more ships. I'm also considering buying a few smaller ships. They have a very good thing that if you transport food, some medical supplies, you don't need a million of it, right? So, yeah. What is the damn solution about it? Oh, there is... Is that the shipyard? Antimatter cell no, that battery. doesn't look like a shipyard. Where did they set up that shipyard of theirs? Auto it's autopilot over there. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, actually, standard docking bay. This looks quite interesting. Unknown station. I think this might be the shipyard. No, it's not. Okay. Okay, that's that's fine, I guess. Uh, wait until we're closer, then we do a quick scan. I love the oh, stations, no. though. They look, look absolutely cool. Station, station under attack. Station, station, station. Uh, let's start with the station as being attacked. Engaged. Uh, missions. Wait, we need to help them build. You're joking. Oh, that's why that the station isn't there yet. Well, never mind. Autopilot disengaged. There is the station. Okay. You are insane. Six thousand eight hundred and four units of Claytronics. Forty-eight thousand nine hundred and forty-nine units of energy cells. 35,060 units of whole parts. And almost 100,000 units of water. I can help you with the water, but then that, that amount. I can help you with the energy. But that is several hours worth of energy. Why am I? You are joking, right? Okay, so apparently that is where we're waiting for. And the... Other guys aren't really going to be building anything. The POS. One, two, three. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four. So, in theory, this guy could almost do it. However, I know some of you are like, okay, but there's the next problem, is there? Yeah, that's the next problem. This is a distribution hub. This is not a trade station, so to speak. Like, we are selling right now, but it's actually not what it's supposed to be doing. Like, the distribution will distribute. Like, we would distribute it over towards our POS. Right over here. And then we would be able to supply that. But I think this mission is just a tiny bit out of our reach. So what about we checking out Let's see. Uh, the cost for the refined metals. Because this this is just not going to this eventually will uh, deliver itself. Like, it, it will actually happen. Without your interference. But it will take some time. So, yeah, we'll just, uh, get the heck out of here. What we can do is we have, I think, illegal wares. If we now decide to get into Windfall, we could do the pirating stuff, uh, missions. There is another one that uh, 
is not available to us. Maybe it is when we hit this system. Is we actually helped that dude, right? I think we need to go towards this jump gate and do the windfall bit uh, mission a bit while we wait for some of these units to be delivered. Like we can't do that right now. Wait. There's, there's no follow up on that. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like I said, I have no, not a lot of experience with uh, Kingdom's End at all. So I'm actually quite excited to be um, in that bit. I was kind of hoping that would just activate it, so we can go into the boring systems. I'm, I'm not sure about everything that's going on right now, but it's fine. We'll just go and check out how expensive it is to get ourselves Entering system. Baron that ore refinery going. Uh, because I think that will generate a lot of cash. And it would help if we can get to help parts, Clayfronics and stuff like that. And really build on our POS. Right now, doesn't look too good on the Xenon. This station is still there. Like, they're no longer victim to the Xenon as much. But I will. What the hell do you want? absence in your most recent exploratory endeavors. It is just... I have been somewhat preoccupied with my own observations. When did Numancurant say the Alliance of the Word plans to conclude their experiments? Uh, uh, somewhere in the years. Well... The expedition leader did suggest that he would keep us up to date over the coming years. What? Years, you say? Yes. That is... Oh my, that is rather disappointing. Yeah, you tell I me. I hope to contribute to their experiments right away. Well, since you are already running errands in Boron space, would you mind assisting me in my personal research? Ever sure. since my tentacles first grasped the scientific equipment in this research installation, I have been utterly fascinated by the Great Reef Nebula. Even if that pesky Sagaris Pioneer's vessel is complicating accurate measurement collection at the moment. You see, I have identified several neutron stars, magnetars in fact, which pulse in an oddly specific way. One could be an anomaly. Two might be a coincidence, but I have already identified a potential third. I need you to verify my observations, independently. To that end, I have compiled a list of positions in Great Reef that I need you to visit. Great. Could you not have said so, like, I don't know, acceptable. five minutes ago? There is a chance that this could point to a discovery of immeasurable significance. Oso has informed me of your exciting plan. You were listening in already. In fact, I will not take no for an answer. The Alliance is in the midst of their preparations. I have to say... The deluge of scientific jargon leaves me cold. I much prefer action. Well, I guess belay that plan about us going into uh, ores and stuff. It's not like we actually have the money. I'm, I'm expecting the 
the ore refinery blueprints to be around like a million, million and a half. I would also really much like to get like medium storages on most of the stations because we will be outfitting those stations with more modules relatively soon. Uh, water is there, energy is not. Interesting. Yeah, I think we need more ships on Entering this. Entering system, Great Reef. Yeah, I think definitely need more. Now, any coincidence that some of these are absolutely done? Uh, no, uh, I'm actually looking at this bit over here for construction. Well, not in the slightest. That's awkward. Oh well, uh, what can I do, right? Okay, where are we? Uh, we are heading over here. That's fine, we'll keep our dragon over there. This ship is way too expensive for me to lose it on some chase from Bosita. However, considering the time, I might just have to leave this up to the next part. There's not going to be a lot of editing, and this might be the very first part actually being an hour. But still. Oh, okay, never mind. Let's go right over there to the wolf. I want to dock up. I want to see what they have. Ah, this is cool. Ooh, very interesting. Oh, this is a lot like the Terran dogs. Like I said, I've not played a lot of it. Docking granted. Oh yeah. Um look you up right over there. I don't know if Oh they did not give me a f No, no, no. Stop. Stop. Okay. So good thing to check, right? Is we need to get our dragon. Successfully docked. Welcome. I need to check something. Oh, so here's the dragon. We could act. Yeah, and I'll have it if combat engine too. Oh, that's fine. So apparently there is no boron shields, no weapons. Did I not do that correctly? Yeah, they have nothing. Oh, well, that's... Uh, okay, that's uh, relatively disappointing. What do we have? Oh, my. Wait, what? Holy crap. Turret. Two turrets, three turrets, four... Wow. Holy crap, dude. This is not bad at all. Three engines, three shields, four weapons, three turrets. Okay. Uh, gunboat. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine turrets. One forward laser, two engines, and two shields. The mining ship. Two turrets, two shields, three engines. Oh, now we have the Boron's engines. So they, maybe they can only be equipped on Boron stuff. Speed is great. Good amount of shield. How about the mineral? Get rid of these, go away. Yeah, traveling is actually quite nice. Dolphin transporter. Okay, yeah, okay. It's, um... Interesting, actually. Uh, because... There is a turret, apparently, right over there. 
Hmm. What about small ships? The Barracuda. Three shields, three sword slots for uh, one engine. Okay, okay. Scout. Three engines, one shield, one weapon. This is the one that I'm flying right now. So two weapons, one shield, two engines. The Piranha. Oh. I would have actually expected there to be uh, another slot right over there. Uh, apparently there isn't. No, there isn't. Mineral. Oh, that actually looks quite cool. For a small miner, that is. And the courier. Looks like the mining ship. Awkward. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.